All right, guys. So not only are we in the undisclosed location, mm -hmm. but our microphone is ghetto rigged to the max. Yep. Uh, paper towel roll, coin trays, anything possible to hold it up. Because I, Daryl, next to Justin, forgot the mic stand. Yep. That shit sucks. Well, we made it happen because uh, I went to audio school. Yep. And in audio school, they taught him how to stand up a roll of paper towels. Yes. Stack it on two coin trays so the cord does not knock it off kilter. I think that was day two. Yep. So, um, there you go. Yep. <laughs> Money hard at work here. So, anyway, uh, we're going to talk about some shit because that's what we do best. We talk about shit. So, Justin. Yep. Uh, eating french fries. Like I a am eating french fries, yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about an album that you reviewed last week. Called Le Infant Savage. Now, who's that by? That sounds familiar, but I don't know who did that album. It's by Gojira. Oh, Gojira. Gojira. So, why don't you uh, tell us about it? Well, I fucking loved it. And. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say you fucking loved it or you fuck and loved it? I fucked <laughs> and loved it. You fucked the disc right through the hole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally, definitely. Uh, okay, so you fucking loved it. So that's that's a good start. So why don't you get a little more specific? All right, well, these guys, as you already know, I mean, I feel like they set a whole different sound um, to their music. They're very unique. And even through each of their past albums, and, and this one, I was just I'm just curious, like, how they are going to, I don't know, I guess continue it without putting out the same exact album as before, which they've, you know, they've changed uh, throughout each album, but um, there were definitely some effects that they used that were, I guess it's just what they're known for. This is this is an album that, this is a band, actually, that when you hear their music right away, you know it's them and only them. There's no other band out there that, like, makes this kind of sound, like, that they do with their instruments and their guitars and whatnot. I honestly, I don't even know how to describe it, um, but, I mean... They have some amazing chugging riffs and uh, double bass. There was like constant double bass throughout the whole thing. Um, definitely enjoyed blasting it in my speakers, in my subwoofers, in my car. And the uh, the vocals were good. They were solid. They um, they didn't do any like singing or anything like that. It was all just that solid growling that they've you know been doing. It's like shouting and growling. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard. Shrowling. Shrowling. Didn't we say that once before? Did we make that word up somehow? No, we did something like that. It was like scream talking or something or whatever yeah. it was. So this squawking. is either scr what is it? Something with squawking. We did yeah. it shout talking. Is yeah, that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Sh sh rock, whatever. Schwalking. Schwalking. Well, um, Swayze. <laughs> Who? Huh? Patrick. Uh, Tyler. Swayze. Oh. 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 Sweet. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> uh, anyways, what I'm getting at here is that. You need to check out the album. Did you get to listen to it yet? Uh, Did you get to no, I've been I've been a little busy. Uh, which speaking of busy, we do apologize for uh, last week. You know where our our day jobs fucking oh, sucked. Yeah, yeah, we were stuck. We were very busy, which unfortunately left us no time to do anything uh, at all. But we promise we'll make it up to you in some way. Yeah, yeah. Come wash your car or something. Yeah. Well, we do have uh, an interview for you guys. Well, it already passed. Well, yeah, it was yesterday. So uh, there you go. There's your... Yeah, yeah. So don't ask me to wash your car. Yeah, we're... Justin is a master dishwasher, though, so if you ever need that done. That's true. But I digress. We're getting off topic. Um, Anything else you wanted to say about Gojira? Nope. Uh, just that you should check it out. Really good album. Uh, it's... I think that they got better and better. With this album, I, I mean, I feel like they keep getting better and better with every album that they put out. Well, I mean, I haven't listened to the new one yet, but I'll absolutely agree that they just keep getting better and better. Mm -hmm. And not to mention they keep getting more popular and more popular. Oh, yeah. Which is uh, why it's very sad that we won't get to see them on the uh, Death Clock Lamb of God tour as planned. Because, you know, it's not happening. But I'm sure they're working on something new, I'm sure. They actually have, uh, they set up some New York City headlining dates, oh. but I'm pretty sure the tickets are gone already, and if oh. not, we need to get on that. I don't even care who they're playing with, I'd like to see them live. Oh. Uh, but anyway, once well, again, getting off topic. Yeah. Um, well, moving on. Daryl, you, you're always uh, moving on. you want to talk about one of your reviews? I would like to talk, there? yes. Well, yes, I uh, did a review, and you know, when we, 
in this new format that we have going, we've tried to narrow it down where we each only talk about one review a week uh, for the essence of time, and because you know you guys can read the reviews, you don't need you don't need me to read it to you. Well, maybe we could do that. Maybe we should set up a series. Never mind. That's yeah. another story for another day. Uh, so picking one to talk about isn't always easy, but th in this case it kind of was uh, because we I was sitting around the office writing and uh, incoming email uh, and. I see this email from a band uh, called Lyceum from Concord, California. And I say to myself, well, what's this? And it says, we have a new demo, you want to check it out. Now, Justin, as you know, we get a lot of emails. Surprisingly, for a small operation, we get a lot of emails. Yeah. Out of the, let's say, I'll, I'll average and say 15 a week, we probably get. Which, again, might not seem like a lot, but it is. Yep. Out of those 15, how many of them are really good? Um, I don't know. Half? Yeah. Maybe? And we've had some that were like brutally bad. Mm -hmm. Some that we can't even review because they're so bad. Yeah. Uh, actually just got one of those today, but that's another story mm -hmm. altogether. So when I get this email, I, I always try to keep my hopes realistic. Yeah. So I go to their site and it's a six song, no, no it's not. It's a three song demo. Uh. Uh, which is just called Demo 2012. Uh, and the three songs on it, you have uh, Armada, you have Exiled, and you have Dominion. Okay. And the second I hit play in the first couple 30 seconds of the first song, Armada, I was hooked already. Hmm. I was sold. I am not a fan of this band on based on 30 seconds. Because this is a crazy bit of melodic death metal. And honestly, I, I still contend that you probably could have confused them with Insomnium at times. You could have been, uh, confused them with Insipherum because it, it borders on that melodic death, almost folk, but without like the ethnic instruments. So there's a lot of crazy guitar riffs, a lot of intense growling in the verses. You know, all the lyrics are growled, but very clearly, very easily distinguished. And the thing that amazed me the most, you know, and I noted in the review was that the lyrics are not stupid. It's not just, you know, they're not hate breed lyrics, you know, punch you in the first, you know, none of that, none of that. Yeah. Uh, so I actually, and I, I tend to try to avoid it at all costs, but I quoted some of the lyrics in the review because I was so impressed by what they were writing. It's a great story, and it's, you know, a battle story, obviously, because that's the kind of music they're doing. Right. But just really awesome stuff. Really awesome. Now, these are the guys you showed me in the car. Before. In the car, yeah, yeah. And, you know, my car is not the uh, optimal place to listen to new music, but you know it's definitely. I, I would recommend these guys to anyone and everyone that I know, because it was just fucking awesome. I can't wait for them to put out something full length. And the the crazy thing is, this is a demo, right. and they're still very small. They've only been around for I think it's a little less than two years. The recording quality was excellent. The mixing was excellent. Yeah. Everything they did, everything about this was great. So I can only imagine where they go from here, but I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I remember telling you that I thought I was waiting for like a, a folk like flute to come yep. in or something, and it never. I mean, it never came, but like just the surrounding of the guitars, just the upbeatness is, yep. you know, it all sounded like it should have been, or they could fit it in if they wanted. Oh, absolutely! To. If I told you that it was a rough mix and that the flute, you know, didn't get added till later, you would believe that this was like one of the best folk metal bands you yeah. could find. Yeah. It's crazy. You could pass it off as anything, but they do something that's it's pretty unique, and I, I really think that they have a good uh, yeah. a good start here. Uh, so now, speaking of that, uh, good starts. Good starts. Let's talk about good starts and how they relate to the past. That's a good segue. Good uh -huh. segue, man. Just high five. Mm -hmm. um, so, for instance, right now Dave Mustaine is fucking crazy, but he wasn't always crazy. Oh, maybe he was. I think he's been crazy though for he a little while. He's been crazy. So, Justin, you went to a show, which is now a couple weeks ago, because you know everything going on, you know, mm -hmm. us Be being a little busy, yeah. fuckers. Um, you went to a show, and it brought up a couple interesting things that you wanted to uh, to touch on. First of all, the show. Why don't you tell well our our legions of listeners about the show? I went to the uh, Rockstar Mayhem Festival. What? It was. You told me you were going to see Barry Manilow. It was in yeah, it was in uh, Camden, New Jersey, New Jersey. That's not a place you should hang out unless you're going to see a show. Yeah, and um, Camden. 
I looked up at the I looked at the lineup. I I was bought tickets um, through a friend of a friend, and just kind of invited. So I looked at the lineup and didn't really see anything I liked, except Slayer. So I said, sure, for twenty five bucks, I'll go to go see. Twenty five dollars is worth a Slayer ticket. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now there were bands like uh, Motorhead was there, mm -hmm. Anthrax was there. Mm -hmm. So you know some of the older bands were there which I thought was cool but then they were really mixed up with like some really young hardcore bands not metal bands hardcore bands like who um he said as he yawned yeah yeah <laughs> like asking Alexandria what do you and, mean uh, they're not they're not awesome the new wave of awesome metal no nope, no nope. oh fuck I've been lied to and uh as I lay dying was there devil wars Prada was there mm. And the headliner was not Slayer, it was actually Slipknot, who uh, I can't stand, I know you can't stand. Especially you know, mix them in a, in a weird basket with Sabaton and you have Slipknobaton, which yeah. has got to be one of the worst things you've ever heard. <laughs> um, right, Brian? <laughs> and a friend of mine that we went to the show with, he was a fan of Slipknot. And you know, we were talking metal on the way down to the show and... He was telling me, you know, dude, man, I'm telling you, Slipknot's really good. You really should just, you know, give them, give them another shot. Check them out live. Maybe you'll like them live. And I was like, all right, man. I mean, I'll try. I'll give it a shot. Same thing with Asking Alexandria. He was also a big fan of them. So how do you know this person? I, <laughs> my girlfriend's friends, friends. Yeah. Your girlfriend's friends, friends. Yeah. Friends. Okay. So I was like, sure. You know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And uh, asking Alexandria was really bad music. It was just, <laughs> it was really bad music. And I like I I sat and listened. I actually listened, Daryl. I listened. <laughs> you gave it a shot. You gave it a fair chance. And and nothing. It was just oh, oh so bad. And then and then uh, you know so then you know he looks over to me and I kind of give him a thumbs up like yeah yeah okay buddy. And then later uh, well then Slayer came on. They were second to last Slayer. And um, they were fucking awesome. Uh, my girlfriend actually liked. She she never really went to a concert like that before, and uh, she actually really enjoyed watching the uh, the guitar solos that they zoomed in on on the cameras. And um, and I was like, well, if you like those, then you should start listening to all the shit that we listen to. Not the. I was like, don't listen to the other bands around us right now. Yeah, just well, when we go home, I'll yeah, I was like, I'll I'll show you our site again. Is that what uh, you call it? The yeah, site. Our site, yeah. <laughs> But um, 